So this is the brand new Chrome OS version 132. Chrome OS since its inception has grown into a full-fledged operating system that you can easily daily drive. I recently made a video guide on how you can dual boot Windows and Chrome OS. Now let's explore the best new features that will make you want to try it out. Alright, so while you could in the previous version use your phone to keep the Chrome OS unlocked, but other times you needed to put in your Google account password to unlock, especially after a restart. There was a pin option but it didn't actually quite work. But now when it comes to the password or pin, the new update makes it easier to log in. Even if you don't have your phone connected, you can use an 8 digit pin which is separate from your Google account password, which we had to use before. And this is a huge update for me as it was quite annoying previously. Now in Windows, if you close the browser when there are multiple tabs open, you get an option to restore them when you relaunch the browser. Now we have a similar feature in Chrome OS as well. You get an option to restore the last used apps and settings when you restart or power on. We can even set it to automatically open the last used apps after rebooting. This is a good quality of life update, especially during an unexpected system shutdown. So kudos to the Chrome OS dev. The next update is for all the mouse and keyboard users. Chrome OS now has the ability to disable your laptop's trackpad. Yes, Chrome OS is constantly updating and upgrading the keyboard and trackboard controls. It makes controlling the intricate hardware factors way easy. Like the trackpad acceleration, toggle, click, tap and drag etc. And of course the option to completely disable the trackpad. Similarly, we have options for keyboard that includes backlight options, toggle, function keys, create customized keys for different actions and more. Now on the customization front, we already had the Material U theme engine which looks absolutely amazing. We also get beautiful sets of preset wallpaper collection. And this is the new celebrated teacher collection, which also follows the same design language. We can now add multiple Google accounts on our system, which wasn't possible before. This makes switching between multiple accounts across the different Google apps very streamlined. However, we still don't have an option for multiple profiles in the Chrome browser, like we get on the Windows and Linux. Hopefully this is coming soon as I badly need it. Now most of us want to use Chrome OS to enjoy the Android games on a bigger stream. And finally we have a dedicated game dashboard on Chrome OS. Yes, you can access it by clicking on the game dashboard icon while launching a game or pressing the Windows and G key. Using this dashboard we can take screenshots, switch between landscape and portrait which is quite helpful in certain games. However, the main highlight is the keyboard mapping. We can now map the physical keys to the touch controls to play simple games using the keyboard. However, I said simple games because the D-pad doesn't work as you would want. And also there is an option for a mouse right click, which can be a deal breaker. But it's a huge step in the right direction, making Android gaming on PC a reality. By the way, I know Google Play games for PC exist, but the library is quite limited and most of us will just play PC games instead. So while we do have the Google Assistant to take care of our daily routines and queries, we now have the Google Gemini pre-installed. This is a web app and not of fully system integration, but we can access the Gemini in one click and get all the AI creative tools at our fingerprints, which is a great addition indeed. Another miscellaneous but important quality of life update is the inclusion of a focus mode. We can set the custom timer and also the background sound while the timer is running. We can even choose our own YouTube music playlist or select one of the default ones, like this classical one. A very simple yet important addition. So that was some of the new and some improved features of the Chrome OS new update. If you want to try it out, make sure to first dual boot and check for yourself. Otherwise, you can simply get a Chromebook instead. So that was it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.